Dying Light has finally got the next gen patch that we all have been waiting for. So let's talk about it. Hey guys, this is Best Gamer Early and I make daily Dying Light and Dying Light 2 videos. So if you love this game, well, then this is the best channel for you guys. Anyways, now let's talk about next gen patch that is out on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 only. Yes, at the moment, only PlayStation 4 Pro and PlayStation 5 has got the update. So yeah, Xbox players will also get the update, but a bit later. For now, only PlayStation users get this patch. Now, let's talk about the next gen patch. Starting with the PlayStation 4 Pro, the game has improved the 30 FPS cap on PlayStation 4 Pro. So yes, no 60 FPS patch for PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 4 Pro. The only thing they have done is improved the 30 FPS cap, which honestly, I did not notice any difference in the game. The update size was 9.7 GB and there is not much added for PlayStation 4 Pro players. The game for me still feels slow at times and I saw the textures that actually took time to load. Like look at this for example. This is an issue I never faced before on my PlayStation 4 Pro. Plus the view distance is kind of messed up like you can sometimes see the textures loading up slow or the buildings or the tree popping out of nowhere. Now there are a few changes in the menu as well. For example you can invite your friends directly from the menu just by going to this options. That's pretty cool. And they have also introduced this new network utilizing the EOD solution and this is something that really went straight above my head. But according to the Google this means you have enhanced network security and seamless network performance. That makes any sense well basically in short co-op or pvp performance should be good or any network related activity should be good on this game anyways moving on to the playstation 5 here we actually have something good to talk about so first of all yes dying light on playstation 5 has finally got the 60 fps mode in fact just like dying light 2 dying light on playstation 5 has three different video modes First is the performance mode which gives you obviously 60 FPS with 1080p quality. So yeah, you get perfect 60 FPS and it's really smooth. In fact, the view distance has been increased by 25% which is a big deal. Next, there is the balanced mode that gives you 60 FPS with 1440p resolution. Basically 60 FPS with QHD resolution. Next, for the 4K levers, well, we have got a bad news. There's actually a high resolution mode that offers 30 FPS with 4K quality. Now, I don't know how this works, but God tell me I am actually dreaming because this is fucked up. I understand you struggle making Dying Light 2 run at 4K 60fps on PlayStation 5, but how come even Dying Light struggles to get 60fps at 4K? Like on PlayStation 5, I've seen a lot of big games run at 4K 60fps and even the first Dying Light that was made back in 2015 cannot run at 4K 60fps. Man, something is not right. But my friends, at the moment, high resolution mode only offers 30fps in 4K. I don't know if Techland can improve this, but so far this is what we have. And yeah, that's it for the news. Xbox players, you guys will soon get the next gen patch. So till then, good night and good luck. And if you love the content, then make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.